you guys Rob here with the Alfred Homestead we're just showing you or sharing with you our uh, homemade animal trap we had some issues with uh, some raccoons getting our hens and this was uh, one of our resolutions to trying to capture some of the raccoons so that we could relocate them so it's just um, it's about three foot long by one foot high and one foot wide uh, we'll just go over some of the basics of it um, it's pretty simple trap um, so the animal will come in you have the door up and the animal will come in and they'll come in and you put you bait the back of the stick and they'll come in and then hit the stick and then it'll trigger the door so we will uh, I'll try and set it up right here for you guys and then we'll demonstrate it and then we will bait it So is this trap big enough for other animals besides just raccoons? Yeah, we've actually caught cats, we've caught possums, and we've caught raccoons with this. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll catch any a fox because the fox are a little more cunning. Um, some of the particulars that you need when you make a trap like this is this bar right here. If you don't have this bar right here, after a while they'll figure out how to lift the door up and get out. The raccoons will. Yeah, the possums won't where... and the cats won't. Yeah, I actually just replaced this bar because they had eaten almost entirely through this bar in the last one. And here's some of the aftermath of the last one. Actually, I had to replace the drop-down bar as well because they bit through it once it dropped in. But we can do uh, just a quick demonstration. Here we're just going to demonstrate. So the animal comes in and they hit that little stick. Just a little tap. And then the door drops. All right, so we're just going to bait it up. Apparently, uh, raccoons really love marshmallows and peanut butter. So we're just going to do a little bit of both. And we're just going to put some peanut butter. I try and use gloves when I do this, so there's the least amount of human scent on it as possible. And then that's what the back of this screw is for, is just to put the marshmallow on. So that it kind of sticks and that way they'll also hit the stick and this is the trigger stick so when they try and get this marshmallow off that's when it falls off and this notch is a key part as well so the notch actually goes down on this piece of plywood right here and you don't want a sharp edge you want it to be smooth that way you can put it on and it slips off a lot easier if it's if it's at like a 90 degree angle it's going to stick on there more and be less likely to trigger. So you got, you know, kind of an angled on it, not necessarily 90 degrees, and it'll stick on there. And then once they hit it, it'll fall up, and this stick will come up, and then the door will fall. So let's just reset it. And you will have to, every time, adjust it a little bit just to make sure the door is up high enough. So you have to adjust the, the string on it just a little bit each time. And there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll put a, a short description below on how to make it or the size dimensions and everything like that. Thank you, guys.